let's investigate whether this graph has an Euler path. So as a refresher, remember for an Euler path to exist, we have to check to see whether there are exactly two vertices that have an odd degree. So in this case, we've got vertex D has a degree of 1, vertex A has a degree of 3, and the other two vertices have even degrees. So that tells us we can have an Euler path. Remember, an Euler path is a path that travels over every edge once and only once. So let's see how it goes when we try to find an Euler path here. I'm going to start at D, go to A, C, B, and back to A. And in doing so, I've covered all of the edges without repeating any of them. So I can say the Euler path is D, A, C, B, A. Now, how about an Euler circuit? In order for us to have an Euler circuit, we have to be able to start and end at the same vertex and hit all of the vertices in the process of following the path. Remember, an Euler circuit exists if all vertices have degrees that are even numbers. In this case, we've already looked at the degree of each vertex and we've seen that we've got a couple that are odd numbers. As a result, there is no Euler circuit. Now, how about a Hamiltonian path? For us to have a Hamiltonian path, the path has to go through every vertex once and only once. And as we've already discussed, there's no easy way of finding out if a Hamiltonian path exists. We just have to do some trial and error. I'm going to start at D and go to A, C, and B. I've gone through every vertex exactly once, so I have a Hamiltonian path. How about a Hamiltonian circuit? For a Hamiltonian circuit, we basically have to have a Hamiltonian path where we're going through every single vertex at least once, but we have to return to the starting point. That's going to be difficult in this case because we've got D where there's only one path in and out of it. So to get there, to start there, or pass through it is going to be impossible. Let's just try a couple examples. If I started at D, I could go around the rest of the triangle but as soon as I get back to A, I'm repeating a vertex, and that's not allowed. Try starting at a different place. I could start at C, B, A, and D, but I have no way of getting back to C without backtracking. B, C, A, D, nope, same problem. So regardless of where we start, we're going to be unsuccessful trying to find a Hamiltonian circuit. Let's try a more complex graph. Let's look for an Euler path. Is an Euler path going to be possible? We look at our rule and we have to have exactly two vertices with an odd number of degree. Here I've got A with 3, E with 3, but C also has 3 and so does B. In that case, we know we don't have an Euler path. And if we don't have an Euler path, we're not going to have an Euler circuit either. The only way we could have done that is if all the vertices had a degree of an even number, and in this case we've already identified that they don't. So there is neither a Euler path or an Euler circuit. How about a Hamiltonian path? In order for us to have a Hamiltonian path, we've got to pass through every vertex once. Let's see how that goes. Got lucky on the first try, so we can say we have a Hamiltonian path. And it's not too hard to see that we can get a Hamiltonian circuit out of it by continuing on with the last leg to return us to the starting vertex at B. So in this case, we have no Euler path, no Euler circuit, but we have both a Hamiltonian path and a Hamiltonian circuit. We'll start by looking for an Euler path as usual. Remember for an Euler path, we need to have exactly two odd numbered vertices and the rest have to be even numbers. So we see B is 3, C is 3, but E is also 3, so is F. So in that case, we can be very clear in saying there is no Euler path and no Euler circuit either. So let's focus on the Hamiltonian path. Remember for a Hamiltonian path, looking to hit every vertex once. With that path, we've been successful in finding a Hamiltonian path call it HP for short, A, B, C, E, F, 
D gives us a Hamiltonian path. And luckily, only one more leg to go to give us a Hamiltonian circuit. We've started at vertex A, went past through all the other vertices, and ended up back at vertex A again. Once again, looking for an Euler path. Look at our requirement. We need to have exactly two odd degree vertices, or we know if we've got all even degree vertices, then we'll have an Euler circuit. So let's take a look at what we've got. A is 4, B is 2, C is 2, D is 2, and E has a degree of 2. So everything has a degree of 2. As a result, we know that we're going to have an Euler circuit, which means we've also got an Euler path. Let's start off looking for the Euler path. Remember with the Euler path, we have to try to cross every single edge without repeating an edge once. So there we go, fairly quick to find. We can see that the Euler path we found is also the Euler circuit. We went from B, D, A, C, E, A, B. Let's move ahead now and look for the Hamiltonian path and the Hamiltonian circuit. Remember, there's no good method for determining whether a Hamiltonian path exists or not. It's strictly trial and error. That's not working because I'm already hitting the same vertex once, so I'm going to have to start over again. Remember, I have to go through every vertex once and only once. And it looks like on the second time, I got lucky because I've hit every single vertex and I haven't had to repeat any of them. So my solution for Hamiltonian path is E, C, A, B, D. Now, how about a Hamiltonian circuit? With the Hamiltonian circuit, we have to get back to our starting point without repeating a vertex. So unfortunately, the Hamiltonian path I've got here, in order to get back, I'm going to have to continue on, but I can't do that. I've got to get back to E, but I can't repeat A. So unless there happened to be a direct route from D to E, we don't have a Hamiltonian circuit for this one. Let's try maybe another Hamilton, see if there's another Hamiltonian path that will get us there. Nope, still no way to get back. That doesn't work either. Nope, same problem. So it's really looking like there's no Hamiltonian circuit in this case. 